InfiniteGraph.com. What's going on, y'all? We chilling here at InfiniteGraph.com. This be the Sense L. We got another hot exclusive interview for y'all, as always. We chilling here with Mike Jones. What's going on, Mike Jones? Chilling, man, on the ground, baby. How y'all doing? We feeling fine out here, man. We feeling good. So, Rep, where you at, man? Where you at right now? I'm in H-Town, Houston, Texas, you know what I'm saying, representing Dirty South. What's up, baby? Okay. Now, we've been doing just a little taste, you know, research on you, and we see you got this little quote going, who is Mike Jones? So that's going to be my first question. Who in the hell is Mike Jones? It's a dude that's coming out of h Town. you know what I'm saying, taking no prisoners. I mean, a lot of people didn't want to show me love, so, you know what I'm saying, being real, they, they, they helped me, you know what I'm saying, become a grinder, because, you know what I'm saying, I'm a hustler, so... What I had to do, I had to get out on my own and make my name for myself. And now I've done that, and now a lot of people starting to show me respect. So that's Mike Jones. That's why a lot of people going to find out who was Mike Jones when I dropped the album. All right, when the album dropping? It's going to drop summertime. Okay, all right. Now, you was just talking about that you had a couple of problems with, you know, some folks not showing you love. What was going on through them, through them struggles right there? What was really popping with you? I mean, you know, it's it basically like, you know what I'm saying, I wasn't known, and I was like, say, man, check out my CD. You know what I'm saying? I, I do my thing. And they be like, who are you? And I'm like, Mike Jones. And they like, who? And I'm like, Mike Jones. <laughs> you know, and they're like, oh, okay, yeah, you know. And they never mess with it. So now I use the who Mike Jones and threw it back at them. And now I got the whole, all my fans and everybody else showing me love on it. So it's all crazy. Okay. <laughs> That's kind of good, man. Yeah, so you, you, took, like, you, took, like, you took the bullshit and what they was giving you and put it back in their face. I like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, because... I mean, you ought to see it, man. I'm going to make a movie, too. Mike Jones, the movie. And in that movie, it's going to be showing people, too. You know what I'm saying? How, how everything that went down. Okay. The same way. Now, now, we all know in this game, now, nowadays, you got to, it's not what you know, it's who you know. So who is some of the cats that helped you out, getting you where you need to be right about now? Uh, really, uh, I mean, it's like, as, as my name gets big, I meet a lot of, you know, like, a lot of people. Right. Because I had to really do it on my own. It's like if you start off in the game, hustling, moving your way. And then, you know, the big man on the block see that you're doing it, he want to come take you to another level. Right. I was already getting my sound on. It's just that, it's like I got with a major, but I basically got with the biggest independent label. You know what I'm saying? I got my sound on a little bit more. Right. And what label is that? Let everybody know what label you on. Oh, yeah, that's Twitch House Entertainment, man. Okay. That's pretty good, man. So how, yeah, you, how long you been MCing, yo? Uh, I've been, I've been rapping for like four years. You know, so I got with the Switch House almost two years, and I blew up in like seven months of those two years with Switch House, so I'm blessed, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Now, for everybody that's, that's like an inspired MC, let everybody know what was your first steps into getting into the door with Switch House. I know it was, you just showed up at the door and be like, sign me, and they just signed you. I mean, how did you go about doing that? Yeah, like I told you, if, you know what I'm saying? Like, I used to go to a lot of people. And you know what I'm saying, I, I never really wanted to just, like, be under nobody, you know, so I used to just go to people like DJs and be like, hey, you going to check this out. And they're like, who are you? And I'm like, Mike Jones. I'm like, who? Mike Jones, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, eventually, I, I ran across three or four cool DJs that really took my fuck and started spinning it. And then I got hot, and then I started doing my own shows. And Michael Watts, you know what I'm saying, he, he the DJ of the switch house. He said, damn. He said, he, he, he told me he went to a couple of clubs and was hearing my name. Right. And he like, damn, man, this is Mike Jones. Hot. We need to get him on our team. So, you know what I'm saying? He sent his A&R, a &R, Chief Harris, at me. And he, me and Chief Harris talking. He's like, hey, man, I really want to, you know what I'm saying, mess with you. You know, Watts, he really likes me. So I met Watts, and then Watts said, man, I can see you a hustler. I can see you a grinder. You know what I'm saying? I came to you. You didn't come to me. So let's do something. And we done it. That's good, man. That's real good. That's yeah. Good. As far as your album concerned, who you got working with you as far as features, MC features? Uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm still meeting, you know, no big cats to this day. So, I mean, I'm still chilling. I'm still trying to keep it hood, though, you know? So, right now, I'm just I'm just chilling. And a lot of features, that, you know what I'm saying? I got, uh, I talked to Jazz and say, you know what I'm saying? I just talked to other couple of people, Lil Jon. So, we just, we, just, we just getting ready to put it all in the works right now. Okay. Well, how about the production? What you got going with on the production? Basically, I mean, I, I, I like I like to I like to use new new producers. I mean, you know what I'm saying. I don't want to use the ones that everybody else uses. Right. I mean, I like I like to I like to you know help the people that's not known get known because that's how I was. You know what I'm saying. So right. that's how it is. It's, it's like with the artists, it's just like on my app, I'm gonna get a lot of artists that's known in my in my in my area. You know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. 
and make the world know them just like the, the world's gonna know me. Right. So as well as so as well as new producers, do you also work with new MCs that's that's in your area or that's trying to come up just like you're doing right now? Or you keep yeah, it just... yeah. You see, what I what I'm doing, I just got me a little XM radio, and what I'm doing, I'm, I'm you know saying everybody that's hungry and they go off, I'm letting them jump on and get they get they shine on the XM. Well, so they really get they shine on, and they ain't, I ain't even went to the streets to see if they really hot. You know, some sometimes I might like them, or sometimes my boy might like them, and we give people chances, man. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So how do you go about picking out those artists? Is it just by, you know, who in your crew say they hot or is it because of, you know, they got a buzz or I mean I'm just trying to I'm trying to ask this question is is because are you just picking them just because people are saying they hot or you think they have some type of potential, you know, as far as something otherwise? I mean it's both, you know what I'm saying? Because I mean if I personally like you, you know what I'm saying, I can get I can switch you under my wing and we can work some out. At the same time, if the streets kicking you, I have no choice, you know what I'm saying, but to mess with you, you know what I'm saying? Right. Because the streets was buying the album, so, you know? Well, what's your, what's your next focus after the album? What are you working on along with that? Oh, after uh, that? I got movies coming out. I got clothes coming out. You know what I'm saying? I just got my website up, uh, www.whomikejones.com, so y'all check that out. And you know what I'm saying? I get my cell phone number out to everybody, so y'all can hit me up anytime. The number is 281-330-8004, area code 281-330-8004. Okay. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so y'all can hit me up anytime. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to keep it moving, man. I like it in you, man. I like it in you. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can't go back. <laughs> I'm telling you. So, man, as far as, like, you trying to get your, yourself together or whatever with the album and the movies and the clothes. How are you managing all that shit at one time? I know you busy as hell. I mean, how are you getting all that, you know, within good organization? I mean, you got people working I mean, with you or you doing all yeah, yourself? Yeah, I, mean, I mean, it's like I'm basically, you know, doing it for myself right now. I know I'm going to need more people later, but what I'm doing, see me, I promote stuff uh, way ahead of time. So by the time, let's say if I promote something for January or I promote it so much that when January do come, you'll be waiting on it, and I have time to stop doing what I'm doing now to jump on this project. Like right now, I'm working on the album, but I'm still promoting so, so my album drops, my clothes gonna be hyped up. You know what I'm saying? Right, I feel you. How did you yeah. get? The, how did you get the clothes popping off like that? Uh, I, I see. They, they see they all over your website. You got the logos and the signature oh, yeah, and everything. Yeah, you yeah, can see. I mean, I, I, used, I used to wear, you know what I'm saying, a couple of people's clothes. You know, I still do represent other people, but then I start getting, like, like a lot of, like, clothing people wanted me to wear their clothes. Like, Echo, they was calling, like, hey, man, you know, you know we might need you to do this, do that. And I'm like, cool, but then I'm like, I can do it myself. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I start making my own clothes, my T-shirts, and make my own logo, and then, you know, it's just get your own the pocket. I'm coming, man. I feel you, man. Y'all got to understand this dude just plugged, like, ten times in the interview. So they show you how much... He on the grind. <laughs> For real. So we go wrap it up, y'all. This is L. We chilling with Mike Jones. We holla at y'all. We holla at you. Peace. Hell, hell, hell. Infinitegraph.com.